Okay, so it's not quite like finding the lost city of Atlantis, but for geologists, well, it kind of is. Scientists have long debated the existence of an ancient tectonic plate called Resurrection that would have existed off the west coast of North America about 60 million years ago. A plate that would have given rise to the arc of volcanoes in the Pacific Ocean today. And now, two scientists from the University of Houston, including a Canadian, believe they found the missing plate sitting right underneath northern Canada. The thing that we're really adding to the table is the first um, very direct evidence of the presence of the resurrection plate, um, whereas um, all the thought that has been done on the resurrection plate, plate um, previously has been based off of ancient volcanic activity and trying to relate that back to plate margins, so um, kind of indirect evidence, whereas we can actually look into the mantle and quantitatively um, find these subducted uh, materials and bring them back up to the Earth's surface. The team reconstructed the long-lost tectonic plate by using existing mantle tomography images, similar to a CT scan of the Earth's interior, and they modeled backwards to unfold the slabs to their historic positions. And when they did, they found that resurrection did indeed fit into the picture. This new paper indeed supports that side of the argument. You know, the other day, Spencer and I were talking and he kind of described this lost plate as a almost like a geological Sasquatch, you know, like people have seen footprints and, you know, signs. And here we have like the first really fuzzy image of, of this mythical beast. There are actually many reasons why this finding is significant. Volcanoes form at plate boundaries and the more plates you have, the more volcanoes you would expect there to be. And because volcanoes also affect climate change, when you're trying to model the earth and understand how the climate has changed, you really want to know exactly how many volcanoes there have been on earth. And now we'll have a better understanding. So stay tuned. Now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.